Good morning, good afternoon, how are you? This is uh, Daryl Prell coming at you live, your moderator for today's session on calculating ROI for your hosted Voice Solution. So uh, welcome to the show. In front of you, you should see some pictures of the three key characters in today's session. Myself, David Brighton, and Rick Kunders. And we're going to get into some introductions here shortly. But before we do that, we're just going to do some logistics. And part of that is I want to actually introduce you to the GoToWebinar control panel. You should have had that on your probably your right-hand side of your screen when you logged in. And why that's important is because you can actually submit questions to us. And you do that in the little questions box. And we'll get those. And if we can answer them you know, in the middle of the stream as we're going along, then we'll incorporate them. If not, then we'll do a Q&A session after David and Rick have had a chance to actually present their point of the presentation. So please stick around. The other thing that's also interesting is that um, this will be archived. So if you see anything you like on here, uh, you think about the people in your organization or in your network would benefit from hearing this, then by all means we suggest that you, uh, you look for the email you'll get in the next 24 hours or so with a link to the archive and please forward that on. And finally, you can also find archive versions of these events both at the Blue Arc website and the Anderson Company website. So that's the logistics. Use our control panel. Any question top of mind, add it in. Today's conversation is, is well, we have a, a PowerPoint framework for the discussion. It is loose. It is relaxing. It is just an educational session today. So it, welcome and join us in the conversation as we have some fun with this. So let's start off with the opening slide. Rick Kunders, Vice President, Blue Arc. So his uh, current role is VP of Sales at Blue Arc Communications, and he has spearheaded all the sales activities, helping Blue Arc grow from a single city telecom startup in Canada to a Canada-wide hosted business phone and internet service provider. So Rick has over 20 years of telecommunications, sales, marketing, and business development experience, working in key roles for companies such as Digital Equipment, Mitel Networks, and Zoltis. Rick's depth of telecommunications experience in carrier, supplier, and software development companies allows him to bring a unique and informed perspective to customers regarding their own telecommunications requirements. Hi, Rick. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Daryl. How about you? I'm doing honky-dory. I've had my first coffee. I'm feeling pretty good. Well, but, I'm enjoying a rainy day up here in Ottawa. So. Yeah, I'm not sure enjoying is the right word at this point in time anymore. <laughs> We have to get used to it, I guess. We, it's become a new way of life. Joining us as well, though, is David Brighton. So let me tell you a little about David. He's a principal of Andrews and Company Chartered Accountants. He has over 25 years of experience in providing advisory, tax, and special services to a wide range of organizations. David provides services to private enterprise, aboriginal organizations, government departments, crown corps, and not-for-profits. He provides assistance and advice on offering procedures, policies, and practices to clients on an ongoing basis. So with a, a BCom from Concordia University, uh, as well as you know, a certified general accountant, he is very qualified to talk to us today about how these solutions have multiple benefits beyond just you know the actual premise of you know, a VoIP phone system. So that all said, welcome, David. Good morning. Good morning, Daryl. How are you today? <laughs> I mean, you're sitting in the rain as well, I presume. I am sitting in the rain as well. It is rather depressing. But this call is going to be fun, so I'm actually looking forward to this. This is actually a really cool conversation, folks. So David and, Br and uh, Rick are going to give us their intelligence. Myself, I'm just the guy to make sure we end on time and respect your calendar and your schedule. So with that all said, I want to remind you one more time before we start here, you can submit any questions you want to using the questions section of the GoToWebinar control panel. And at the end, you're going to see a recap of all the contact information for all three of us. And you can contact any of us individually, you know, email, Twitter, websites, phone, whatever you want. Um, and we'll leave that up there for a long time. So please, yeah, engage us directly, not just this one time. So with that all said, Rick, why don't we throw it over to you to start the conversation. Well, um, why don't I start off quickly, Daryl, and thank you for passing it over to me. Um, give you a quick overview of Blue Arc. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with Blue Arc, we're a, uh, a hosted voice and, uh, and internet service provider up here in Ottawa. And uh, we've been doing this since 2005. So as far as VoIP and hosted services go, we've been in this industry for a long period of time. Uh, and we continue to grow and expand, as Daryl mentioned, across Canada. 
the thing about Blue Arc when we engage our customers is it's important for us to understand what their business is. We, in fact, employ what we call a consultative approach in terms of how we deal with our customers. And when we engage in the consultative approach, we really look at two key things. How can we help you become more profitable by identifying and reducing costs for voice and data services? We go through an extensive list of services that you currently have in place and ultimately compare it to what we may provide you and provide you with well, what we like to say is an ROI, a quick ROI. But beyond taking a look at just what your hard costs are and comparing them to your existing services, what we also love to do is we love to engage with our customers to understand what they're actually doing in their business and the things that we might be able to do to help improve productivity, improve your processes, and increase customer satisfaction, and in fact help make you a better business. The challenge in small and medium businesses is that you typically don't have access to advanced technology. Blue Arc, with its hosted service offering, allows you access to advanced technology to do the things larger companies could do, but do it in a way that makes it simple and easy to use. Next slide. So typically when we engage with a customer, the first thing that we want to do is do the analysis uh, in terms of how we can reduce costs. And there's a lot of things we go, to, go through. And in fact, most customers don't understand exactly what their communications costs are. So when our, our account representatives engage them to do an ROI, they're actually surprised at the number of things that are involved in their overall telecommunications environment. The interesting thing about what Blue Arc does is it's not just the voice service component that we have to take a look at, because we can also provide uh, data and internet access services. So that actually helps improve the ROI, consolidate your services, and make it simpler for you to manage and maintain your communication services. I don't want to go through the list here. It's an extensive list. Um, you know, the key thing most customers consider is what are their current line costs. Uh, in Ontario, most customers deal with Bell. So we have a lot of experience working with Bell and understanding um, what costs are associated with your Bell services. In fact, Bell is a partner of ours, uh, so we really deeply understand how services are deployed within our, uh, within our customers and prospective customers' organizations. Other things we'll look at are some usage and maintenance fees, data access costs, leasing, leasing costs. You'll see the list there. Um, I don't want to belabor it. There's a lot of things, and it's an extensive list, and it's a fair bit of work for us and, in fact, our prospects to go through this, but it's a worthwhile exercise. If you haven't really looked at what your communication costs are, it's even worth just contacting us to help you through this type of exercise. Do you, do you find Rick, that people are surprised at the scope of the cost when, uh, when you start going over this process? Well, one, surprised at the scope. Two, surprised at the cost because most people, once they deploy services, don't really go back and take a look at what they're being charged for their services, nor do their carriers provide them with any analytic tools to let them know what they're using, what they should be using, whether they should increase or decrease services. So not only the scope, but the cost that they're paying for those types of services. Oftentimes, people are surprised with the contractual term. Um, one of the major telco competitors out there have a negative contracting. Uh, uh, they, they do negative contracting. Basically, if you don't say no, they renew your contract. So when we go and deal with customers to do an analysis, we often find that they're under contract for extended periods of time, at, in many cases at egregious rates, with really very little way to get out of them. Oftentimes, we're able to help them uh, mitigate some of the costs of, uh, of getting out of a contract or make them aware that they are in contracts. So a lot of different things. Um, additionally, um, for customers that have existing PBXs, oftentimes uh, they have service contracts that continue to be renewed, uh, again, at very high costs. And nobody's really looked at them or even asked, why are we even doing this? So y your question is extremely germane. Um, but we really uncover a lot of things when we sit down with our customers, and it generally is a big surprise for them. It's a very, it's a, it's a very rare occasion that we'll sit down with a customer and they'll go, yeah, I knew that, I knew that. And oftentimes it may take a couple of meetings with a customer just to be able to consolidate all of the costs that they have associated with their existing services. Okay, so I can, if I can just jump in with an example on that. This is David, uh, one of my clients of our accounting firm, uh, was looking at their telecommunication costs 
and they were using a PBX system with many bell lines rolling over. And what they discovered was that they actually had three phone lines that they had been paying for for 10 years that they never used and weren't connected to their PBX system. And if you can just imagine the cost of that, and so that type of an analysis can lead to some very interesting results. I mean, that, that's a great comment, David. And in fact, um, a lot of the customers that we have have excessive amounts of lines that just aren't being used. But their current service provider w won't provide, nor has a way to provide them with usage data quickly and easily, which is something that is you know, critical to service uh, and which is something, of course, that we provide. Um, but they definitely are surprised when they go through this analysis. Now, I do have a question. Is that on your usage fees, are you able to provide breakdown of information that can allow uh, businesses to potentially recharge or rebuild to their customers some of their own telecommunication costs? Well, I mean, that, that's, a, that's another great comment. A lot of our customers are lawyers, and you know, I, I imagine, David, in your experience, you've probably dealt with a lot of lawyers where they'll typically charge for long distance costs, for fax costs, and you know, the costs associated with it. Um, what we found is because our usage fees are so low, oftentimes customers won't even charge back anymore because the cost of creating a chargeback is far more expensive than the revenue that they would gain by doing that chargeback. Now that being said, if customers do wish to charge, absolutely we provide a very detailed, um, it's called a call detail record which provides all information around incoming, incoming and outgoing calls, account codes, that type of thing that can be imported into an Excel spreadsheet for customers to, uh, to be able to digest and charge back very, very quickly. We just got a question, and it's germane to what you were just talking about there, Rick, and I think I'm just going to compliment your point, David. So the question is, is fundamentally, this is a small business owner. Uh, they're not an accountant, but they're, you know, their financial folks keep them, as they say, on their toes. And they have a two-part question. So does a hosted model make my life easier from a billing or service aspect, which is a little bit what you start to talk about there, Rick? Yep. And then there's always, they say, the puzzle about amortization. Does a hosted model work better for me to reduce my accounting fees and my payouts? So, David, you may want to cover that off in your section, but um, maybe yeah, Rick... I, yeah, I can cover off a, a piece of that, and David, I appreciate you uh, reviewing uh, the latter part of that. Um, in terms of what a hosted service can do in terms of reducing, I, I won't call it the accounting churn, but you know, right now most customers that we deal with will deal with a, a company that does conferencing services, either audio or web, uh, toll-free services, long-distance services, uh, data services, um, a company that maintains their PBX, and oftentimes that turns out to be four or five different companies. Uh, in the case of the services that Blue Arc provides, we integrate all of those services, and we integrate it into a single billing. So you're dealing with a lot less vendors, and you're dealing with a single place where you can manage, maintain, and control your costs. And all of the services that we provide um, uh, are documented in detail for customers to dissect, charge back, uh, you know, typically all in what uh, I'd say is an Excel format. Uh, so if you do want to go through a granular analysis of your call patterns, uh, all that information is available um, through the use of BlueArk's hosted service. Does right, so that answer the question, Daryl? I think it does a good job. And David, I'm going to ask you to hold off on your answer because I know you've got some content later on that may address it. And if you forget it, I'll come back and remind you. And again, it's a good time to tell the people on the webinar here today that, again, you can submit questions too by using the question feature in the Go to Webinar control panel.